Hello there, I am Giant Grodd with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got to Zelia Town. I think we took on the Slowpoke well. We uh, may have also finished the Zelia. Um, I think we may have already... We may have finished the Union Cave, uh, the cave before we got to Azalea Town. And I'm actually headed back to, um, the, the, the Union Cave or whatever because I made a last minute decision to, uh, to, um, catch, um, a Sandshrew. Now, um, Sandshrew will be the ground type for this project. And I was originally going to do, like, a pseudo Wudo, catch the one pseudo Wudo you can catch in the game. Um, as one of my final team members, but then I just decided to catch a Sandshrew because I want a pure grass type on my team. Or not pure grass type, but pure ground type. So, uh, I, I'm going to catch a Sandshrew. So, uh, I have, um, I have Rosal up front. So, let's see if we can find a Sandshrew real quick. I'm also going to take on the Zelly Town Gym, too. In this part. So, that's exciting. Is this a Sandshrew? We'll see. We'll have to see. That was not a Sandshrew as I arrived at level 4. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, here's a sentry. Nice. Okay, cool. It's level six and male. Okay, cool. Let's go for the tackle. Yeah, um, I fainted the um, or I should say um, Brosel fainted the uh, the rat that was level four in the last battle. So Brosel got like third to experience for fainting it. Use it use defense go first, but it's gonna use scratch. Okay, it's cool. Nice. Let's go for the tackle again. Let's go for another defense curl. Hi, hi, hi. This is gonna take, this could take longer for it to catch then, I guess. Yeah. Nice. It's gonna go for scratch again, of course. But I just gotta tackle it then. Well, I think we can take it one more tackle. Yeah, defense, if, especially if it's just a defense core right now, I can definitely stand one, another tackle once it gets a good critical hit. Luckily, it didn't there. <laughs> nice. Let's uh, throw a Pokeball at it. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, so Sandshrew is the mass Pokemon. It's it's two feet tall, weighs twenty six pounds. It's number twenty seven in the um, I guess number twenty seven in the Johto deck. I guess you could say it prefers dry, sandy places because it uses the sand to protect itself when threatened. That's cool. Nice Pokedex entry. Give it a good entry. Yes. My name is uh, Sancho Sanders. Because I've used the Sancho before, like in Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Emerald, I guess. I nicknamed it Sanders then. I'll, I'll just nickname my um, Sancho that I just caught here, Sanders, too. Sanders, there we go, nice. Now we can exit out of here, nice. Now, um, I wanted to try to teach it um, Mutts up for now, I guess. So, yeah. Let's slap. Let's give that, yeah, okay, so Blaze, Oliver, and, uh, Bristol can learn it, but I'm gonna give it to Sanders, honestly. Sanders learned what's up, awesome, cool. Nice. Let's do some revenge in Pokemon. I forgot to pull up my Pokemon list, um, on my notes, so I'm gonna cut to where I, um, have that open, I guess. But I'm gonna switch around my Pokemon real quick. Okay, cool. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so after that, we can continue on. We're back in Azalea Town. Cool. I'm going to heal my Pokemon real quick. Okay, now we're gonna go to the gym. Nice, let's talk to the Vice Giver. Okay, yo Challenger. Bugsy's young, but his knowledge of Bug Pokemon is for real. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see, Bug Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are also are super effective too. Nice, okay, that's good to know. I kind of knew that, but that's okay. Yeah, I didn't know that um, Bugsy was a boy. <laughs> when the first time I played Gen 2, the Gen 2 games, like I thought she she was a girl, but he's a boy apparently. Even though the Vice Giver just told us that he it said his, so Bugsy's a boy, jeez. I did not get that. You went to see the gym the leader. We come first. Okay. So you'd think that this would be a double battle, but it's not a double battle. They're just twins. And later games. Then I think Gen 3 and to present there's double battles, but not in Gen 2 and Gen 1. 
So that kind of stinks, but that's okay. Here's a ladybug. Let's uh, put defense coat front and uh, let's up then. Okay, so um, also I forgot to show it somewhere off. I'll do that then. This battle actually, I forgot that. Let's go to Oliver then. Cool. Hoot hoot, nice. Let's go for the pack, I guess, because it's gonna be super effective. There we go, nice one to kill. Awesome. And then you have a Spinark. Okay, let's go back to uh, Sanders then. It's all a spider, nice. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go back to Oliver, doing the Suchu trick here. Just to get Sanders some experience. Ah, uh, Poison Sting. Let's go for Peck. I have a feeling this won't want to KO it though. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't want to kill it. I was right, cool. But then it gets another poison sting off <laughs> on who, who Let's go for Swift, I guess. Yeah. Nice, okay. I like the battle music, though. Twins Amy and May were defeated. Cool. I get it, because Amy, you can spell, with Amy, you can also spell the word, the name May, and with May, you can also spell the, spell the word, uh, the name uh, Amy. So that's cool. Oh, double goodness. Thanks for 200 uh, pocket dollars. Here's another trainer. Cool. You saved all this little poke few. You might, you're mighty. But you might go on a Pokemon are pretty tough too. Okay. Let's battle. Okay. Gonna send out Paris, okay. So Paris is weak, four times weak to fire and flying type Pokemon moves, I should say. Because, um, it's bug, which bug is, uh, is you know, flying and fire is super, super effective against bug. And it's also grass type. So, um, it's super, grass type, or uh, flying type moves and fire type moves are also super effective against flying or grass type po moves. Grass type Pokemon, I should say. So that's what I'm gonna go with Oliver and use Peck then. Seems like the right thing to do, I guess, for strategizing this, for this battle. Um, let's go for Peck then. This person is level 13 in male, so let's take it on, and it goes down one hit. Awesome. Cool. Same as good level 7. Awesome. Nice, we defeated by Catcher Josh. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks for 200 Poké Dollars. So, let's go, s let's show off Sanders' summary real quick. I think we showed off a uh, uh, Brosaurus somewhere in the last part too. So yeah, Sanders is a pure ground type Pokemon. It has um, it has 427 experience under its belt, uh, 85 more experience to level eight, and it has defense comb, mud slap, and scratch. And its attack is 17. Its defense is 17. Its special attack is nine. Its special defense is 10. And its speed is 11. Cool. So let's take on this next trainer. There's two more. There's this trainer and another trainer, and then there's the gym leader Bugsy. But Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. That is true. When your Pokemon evolve, they do get stronger and have stat boosts and stuff, which is really cool. But catch your Benny. Okay, cool. He has a Weedle. I'm gonna see how much. I think Mudslap would be super. Uh, I think Mudslap would be neutrally effective. Could be wrong though, because uh, we're just supposed to be bug bugging poison type, I think. So we can try. Yeah, it's neutral effective. Okay. I don't like that poison thing though. It's evil. Oh well, no, it's accuracy at least. But then it's still hitting with poison stings. So that kind of stinks. So I think one more mudslap after this should faint it, but you never know what could happen. It could, I could be totally wrong. Keeps on using poisoning. I keep on telling Sanders to use mudslap. Nice. Almost level 8. Awesome. Kakuna. Now assuming that this Kakuna, um... Only knows Harden, we should be in good shape. This Kakuna is level 9 in male. So that's one level um, away from evolving to Beedrill. If Bucketcher Benny decides to 
let uh, his cocoon evolve when he reaches level 10. I mean, this is my take a while. I'm just gonna cut to uh, where we where I hopefully faint this thing, or hopefully Sanders faints this thing, unless we can really get another critical hit or something. Let's decide. Let's, I'm gonna decide on this next scratch if I want to cut or okay. Yeah, I'm gonna cut to where um this cocoon is almost fainted. So I'll see you guys in a second because this is gonna take a little while. Okay, that was a critical hit right there. Nice. It's gonna just hard, but defense won't go any higher. Yeah, there we go. And the cocoon goes down. Awesome. Yay, Sanders in level 8. Awesome. And I'm halfway to level 9. Over halfway to level 9. Awesome. Beedrill, okay. Well, um, we'll switch to, uh, Brosla, I guess. And then do the switch your trick to, uh, I guess, um, I guess Blaze. Because Blaze hasn't got any screen time in this part yet, so, you know, why not give him some, some screen time? Give her some screen time. Yeah, they didn't level switch your trick. This feature is level 12 in Mayo, so that's pretty cool. Gives Fury Attack, okay. Only does 2 HP. Only does another 2 HP. It did 12. 6 HP, awesome. It hit 3 times. Well, it's not really awesome, but you know. Yeah, Ember Attack, nice. Okay, one more Ember should do it. It's gives Fury Attack, but it missed. Awesome. Good for us. There we go, the Beedrill goes down, nice. Bristle good level 9, awesome. But Ketchup Benny was defeated, awesome, nice. Just evolving isn't enough, I'm sorry man, thanks for the 192 Poké Dollars though. There's one more trainer before we, um, I wanna face Bugsy, I wanna face all the trainers with experience, obviously. So here's the last trainer, awesome. Bug Pokemon are tough, cool and tough. I prove it, I'll prove it to you. I believe you, but uh, you're not gonna win this battle, hopefully. I'm gonna try to win this battle. So yeah, oh, I bumped my microphone. <laughs> I do have a shock mount, I don't know if it, uh, you know, prevented the the bumping noise, but I, I'll, t I'll see in editing, you know? <laughs> so this, this character is level 12, um, I'm gonna switch out to, uh, I guess Oliver. So yeah. He's got your screen a screenshot. No, he's got your string shot. Jeez. Okay, let's go for the peck attack. Let's get a string shot again, but it failed. Nice. That's good for us. Yeah, okay. It oh, almost went here. Awesome. We're putting the reds at least. Let's get his tackle on us now. It's 4 HP. Okay, good, Oliver. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. And then you have a Weedle. Okay, I'm going to switch to a. Uh, Sanders and hopefully Sanders can take out this Weedle. That'd be nice. This Weedle is level 12 in male, so it should be a Butterfree. But the trainer, but catcher dude, decided to press B two times in a row at level 11, level 12, and level 10. There's three times in a row to, pre to prevent it from evolving. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use Mud Slap, even though it's it's neutrally effective, but I get the same type of attack. But uh, Sanders gets the same type of attack bonus, so that's cool. And again, I'm probably going to cut to where this Weedle's almost going downtown and fainted, I should say. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so that's, that's red health now. That's string shot missed. That's good. And takes it down. Awesome. So he's in the level 9. Awesome. But catch your L was defeated. Cool. You proved how tough you are. Thanks. Thanks for 192 Poké Dollars. I think we don't want really to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, so I'm gonna go straight on to Bugsy and fight him. So, uh, I'll put, um, I'll put Oliver up front, actually. Yeah, let's talk to Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority of, on, the, on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Yeah, okay, cool. Bugsy has green hair. I think in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they made Bugsy have like pink hair, I think, or purple hair. So yeah, we did Bugsy wants the battle, cool. Sent out Metapod, cool. Let's go with the, um, let's go with Peck, I guess. This Metapod's level 14 in male. It does about, uh, Oliver does about half of its 
one hit does half of it. It's max HP. And this pick should faint it, and it does. Awesome, it's super effective. Nice. Next is Kakuna, probably. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna stay in with Oliver. It's Kakuna. I think the Metapod and Kakuna both know Tackle and Poison Sting. Well, the Kakuna probably knows uh, Poison Sting and Harden. But, uh, and String Shot. But I think the Metapod knows Tackle, Harden, and, um, String Shot as well. So keep that in mind. They're not like free experience where they only have Harden, you know. That's kind of a bummer, though, because I would take advantage of that, honestly. This game's Harden, okay. So it's probably gonna survive this hit. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, cool. It did a little over half HP, so that's what probably made the difference there. Oliver's in the level 16. Oliver's trying to wear hypnosis. Sure, let's, uh, let's get rid of a move, I guess. Let's get rid of, um, let's go to Foresight, honestly. One, two, and poof. Oliver forgot Foresight, and Oliver went hypnosis. Cool. I'm gonna keep Oliver in. We're gonna go for an epic hoot sweep. So I'm gonna do... Let me see how much a peck does first. It's gonna use Fury Card, okay. It's 2 HP on who, on my Oliver. So that's good, that's good for uh, Bugsy, I guess. Give for another peck. It's gonna use Fury Card again. Nothing with Fury Card, it gets stronger after every continuous, consecutive use. So as long as you keep on using Fury Card over and over and over, it'll, it'll keep on getting stronger. I think its base power is like 10 though, so it's really not that good of a move. Unless it's like super effective on like Psychic type Pokemon. Or dark type Pokemon too. But other than that, I don't really recommend it. You know, that's gonna be the TM that uh, Bugsy gives us. Let's finish with a swift attack. Let's get a quick attack. Oh no! Aw oh, man. I tried going for the. I tried going for the epic hoot sweep, but uh. Dang it, okay. Um, let's see here. Let's get a Brussel, I guess. Although it does have Fury Cutter, but then it stopped using its Fury Cutters consecutively, continuously, so that's good. Let's go for the Tackle. It's gonna have some Weir on, on Brussel, but the Tackle hits awesome. Takes up the Scythe, they're awesome. And Brussel gets a lot of experience, awesome. Two levels, wow. Nice. It's great, okay, we have Bugsy to feed, awesome. Well, amazing, you're an expert on Pokemon, thanks. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win, take this gym badge. Okay, yeah. Cool, we get the Hive badge from Bugsy. Awesome. Do you know the benefits of Hive badge? Uh, if you have a Pokemon have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that know Cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here to, I almost, also want you to have this. We get TM49, which is Fury Cutter. Which I already explained it. Um, if, you use, if you use it consecutively over and over and over, then it keeps on getting stronger, but the base power is like 10, so I don't recommend it unless you're using it on like a Psychic or uh, Dark type Pokemon, really, to get super te super the super effective bonus, I should say. So yeah, cool. I put it in the team's pocket. Uh, team 49 contains Fury Cutter. If, if, you, if, you, oh, if you don't miss, it gets strong. Okay, as long, as long as you don't even miss too, see? Yeah, it gets stronger and stronger every turn, or stronger every turn. The longer you battle goes, the better it gets. Awesome. Isn't that great? I discovered it. Yeah, it is great. Although I'm not going to probably use it on any of my permanent... Yeah, I'm not going to use it on any of my permanent team members, but you know, it's pretty cool. Let's so talk to the Vice Giver. Well done. That was a clash of talented young trainers. With people like you, the future is bright. Thanks. The future of Pokemon is bright. Cool. Okay, as every town Pokemon Jam leader Bugsy, winning trainer Steven. Cool. My earbud fell out of my ear, jeez. <laughs> uh, okay, after that little um, technical difficulty, I guess you could say. Well, not really technical, but I don't know. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick. Okay, so now that that's over with, um, we got the high badge to actually show off right now, actually, before I forget. So our Pokedex is 6, our play time is 12 hours and 44 minutes. We have 7,010 Poké Dollars, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have two badges now. The high badge kind of looks like a ladybug, honestly, if you think about it. That's pretty cool. So, um, who am I going to put a fuck yeah, who, I'm going to arrange my Pokemon real quick. But I'm going to also end the part here. So, um, yeah. So this has been my Pokemon Crystal Walk the Guy part. The next part will take on what lies west of, um, 
As they always tell which is like Alex Forest. Before we get through the whole Alex Forest, we have, to, we have actually have a ride bottle with Smack coming up actually. So we're gonna do that first, then go to Alex Forest. You then get the charcoal, which I should have got to get the charcoal, and then I'm sure you had to get HM02 cut, uh, which we need to get through the Alex Forest, and then uh, maybe I'll make it all the way to Golden Red City. If time uh, allows, I guess. So yeah, so this is from Janko again. I'd like to thank for checking goodbye, and I hope to see you guys like part of my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.